So you are welcome to our physics practical lesson, physics practical session. Today we proceed with the experiment number 6, apart from experiment number 1 up to number 5. Now we proceed with the experiment number 6. And we will see the aim of the experiment, the nature of the graphs, how to calculate the slope, how to calculate the, the value of that equation have been asked. We consider our experimental circuit. We have a voltmeter is parallel with the cell. We have a switch. You see here that is our circuit. We have a resistance. This is standard resistor, which can be resistance box or standard resistor. When you see that circuit, actually you are going to see the change of resistance, and you record the value of potential difference that is our circuit you see and uh, your circuit there is a resistance and uh, our our cell there is a internal resistor within our cell or our battery the questions which can appear in this experiment the first question after recording the data after taking readings of potential difference and the resistance you have to plot a graph of 1 over v against the 1 over r the second question you have to calculate the slope of the graph and the the third question you have to calculate the value of emf and the internal resistance of a battery of a cell that is the cell because this is one that is a cell and another question what the aim of the experiment what is the aim of this experiment though there are questions you have to understand more and uh, you will see how to answer those questions We proceed with the, our lesson to see the uh, principle of this experiment or the circuit. We, we see that is the theory of this experiment. Remember you have uh, our apparatus, we have standard resistor, we have a cell with the internal resistance. So, your circuit, your principle or your theory of the experiment should relate with the, our circuit. It means we have EMF, we have the current passing through the circuit, we have resistance which is standard, and uh, we have internal resistor or internal resistance. So apart from this question, you have to drive the theory of this experiment in order to to have the to know how you are going to solve the emf and you have to solve the internal resistance of that cell and you have to drive by considering the nature of the graph our nature of the graph is one over v against the one over r so you have to drive this theory from this general equation let's we proceed from that general equation, EMF is equal to current bracket resistor plus internal resistance. In order to get the 1 over V against the 1 over R, you have to proceed as the following. Current is equal to EMF over resistor plus internal resistance. 
but em but current is equal to v over i so we have to substitute v over r is equal to emf over r plus r which is internal resistance in order to get to 1 over v this one you have to make reciprocal of this equation it means it would be r over v is equal to r plus internal distance over emf you have to note this question carefully with more understanding 1 over v it means we take r out of this equation is equal to r over e because emf is equal to is under all r and a small r r over e is equal to o plus 1 over v times r is equal to r over v over e plus r over e almost 1 over v is ready obtained but 1 over r is not yet we have to proceed divide r both side it means our question will be 1 over v over r is equal to r over e over r plus r over e over r the resulting question would be 1 over v it means r and r will cancel and the r even this one is going to be r over e r plus r over e r then 1 over v is equal to 1 over e because r and r will cancel be 1 over e and r over e it means r over e will be times 1 over r from this equation generally we have to observe this equation 1 over v is equal to r over e bracket 1 over r plus 1 over emf that is a general equation which relates with the, our nature of a graph. It means y is equal to mx plus c. 1 over v is equal to y axis. r is equal over e is equal to slope. 1 over r is equal to x. And 1 over e is equal to y intercept, which is equal to c. y intercept x is equal to 0. It means when we, we substitute to put 0 here, y will be is equal to c. That is the nature of the graph. The nature of the graph in graphically would be observed as you see there. It means our nature of the graph is a straight line passing through y positive and a negative x axis with the positive slope. That is the nature of the graph explanation. So y axis is equal to 1 over v x is x is equal to 1 over r and the slope is equal to r over e and the y intercept is equal to 1 over emf so how to solve the emf and the internal resistance to deduce or to calculate emf and the internal resistance we start with the emf emf we have seen that it obtained from y intercept y intercept is equal to you are going to read here this point this intercept the value of here will be is equal to 1 over e so emf is calculated from emf is equal to 1 over y intercept that is the way how you can solve why emf as a value emf of the cell and for internal resistance r is obtained from slope we have observed that slope is equal to r over e so after calculating the slope from this formula changing 1 over v change over change 1 over r the si unit would be r over v so the r would be slope times emf obtained from there the first value you are going to substitute in, to substitute to substitute in this formula so the slope calculated times emf 
obtained from the first value will represent the value of internal resistance. And the, the V and the V will cancel, will remain the as a unit of resistance, which is ohm. That is how you can solve the internal resistance of the cell. The aim of, the, of this experiment is to determine the electromotive force, which is EMF, of a cell, because we have one cell, and the internal resistance of uh, a cell. Internal resistance of uh, a cell. That is our experiment in number 6. We have uh, shown here and uh, you, you can watch again to understand more about this uh, experiment. Now we end up here for experiment number 6. Another time we explain or we we'll let you hear experiment number 7. Subscribe our channel to see more videos in physics, chemistry, even biology, practicals, even theory concept, and the questions or solve the question with the questions or solve the experiments. Thank you for learning with me.